Folks, I've got something I want to show you about CW speakers and how important it is to have it uh, somewhat resonant and what a difference it makes to set them in a, a place that uh, gives you some speaker gain. And um, this is a MFJ 281 clear tone. It's upside down because the wire is too short. But anyway, it's just sitting there and um, I've got my rig hooked up hooked up to the uh, speaker and I'm going to turn on the side tone and, uh, and there we go now you can hear it it's not too loud and I've got a an audio uh, sound level meter here and I'm aimed at the speaker and now I'm going to change the pitch the frequency of our side tone to find out what the resonant frequency is You can see a peak right, right about there. That's about 720. And one of the things I did on this speaker, that there's a little vent on the back, and you should tape over that. That will lower the frequency just a little bit. There's two things that look like vents. One of them is fake and the other one is real. This is one of the best CW speakers you can get because the sound from it is very pure and it is somewhat resonant. So let's put it in a, a box here. This is a wooden box that I picked up at Hobby Lobby. Six by six by four inches deep. And we'll just set the uh, speaker in there. Back in there like that and now look at the difference here already we've gone from uh, about minus six up and uh, let's adjust the pitch here and see where the resonance is all right so that's about 730 We go down right there there's the hot spot okay that's 690 cycles and what a huge huge difference we're we've gotten um, let's see six eight dBs of gain just from setting it in that box and the room is just filled with this tone now so let's take it out of this box and put it in the bigger box this one is eight by six by four inches deep. All right, and let's see. Now we're getting uh, almost zero, and now let's go down. It's going to be a lower pitch. There we are. So now we're at uh, 590, which is kind of the tone I was shooting for. So obviously the the uh, maximum gain is dependent upon the volume of the box. So the bigger box has a lower frequency. But let me uh, see if I can find somebody here operating CW. Not a good time of day, but uh, here's somebody right here. I've got my uh, selectivity at three KCs. Let me take it out of the box. You can tell a big difference. I'll put it back in. If 
I go up and pitch. See, I'm up to about 800 now. You can hardly hear him over the noise. huge difference it makes. Um, I've tried um, a PVC box um, which worked okay and uh, it was an electrical box six by six before. It worked fine. Um, I kind of like the wooden box better and I think what I'll do is put a grill. Uh, I'll screw this speaker in and then I'll put a grill cloth over it to make it look better. I think I'll, I'll paint it flat black. <laughs> That's a little amplifier I use there. To This is a flex rig, so it needs an external amplifier. Um, so there you go. It makes a huge difference. Uh, this is in Hobby Lobby that back in the uh, Woodcraft area. They've got all kinds of different shapes and sizes. This one came with a, a lid on it. I had to buy the lid with it just to get the right size. So I think I'll like it better, and uh, this one right here is a little bit higher pitch, which you may like better if you like something closer to 700 hertz. And uh, yeah, it's about, I think it was about uh, five, five or six bucks for these. This one was probably seven or eight, a little bit more expensive. But a quick and easy solution to get your uh, copy a lot better on CW. The room echoes don't bother you. You'll be able to concentrate better on your CW this way without wearing headphones, you're gonna really like it. 73.